a world which is set upon division and reaction. Voices clamouring to be heard above the noise. People insisting that their truth is the only truth. And terrifying levels of environmental degradation and destruction. Is it any wonder that young people the world over are experiencing heightened anxiety and depression and a sense of futility about the future? More than any time in the past, schools have a significant part to play in how well young people are prepared for the world they will inherit. Schools are tasked with making important decisions about how well they can shape their young people into resilient, thoughtful and capable decision makers and influencers who can steer their way through floods of information, tsunamis of revolt and droughts of opportunity. We live in a time of paradox where our young people need sophisticated digital capabilities but for their mental health need to spend less time on digital devices. Where they need to be well prepared for a future that doesn't yet exist, but promises both fantastical and nightmare scenarios. Where young people need to develop and sustain their languages and cultures to secure their identities at a time when English literacy is asserting its dominance and TikTok threatens to subsume all identities. It is within this context that as a community of students, whānau and teachers, we must work together to establish what is important for our young people to learn. Hauriki College has been engaged this year with consulting students and whānau about priorities for learning over the next 10 years. We are working to develop a bicultural curriculum that recognises, embraces and reflects tangata whenua and gives equal status to Mataranga Māori for Māori knowledge. We are working to develop more inclusive language and imagery and provide opportunities for all. This year we established Reirua, a bilingual Te Reo Māori program at year 9. Next year we are establishing Amatakiloa, a bilingual Tongan program, and we will offer Cook Island Māori as a subject from year 10. In the following year, we plan to establish a bilingual Samoan program. Language and culture is central to the identity we are developing as a school. We also need to consider how we work as a community. School and community need to collaborate to give young people the best possible opportunities. We can do this together by valuing education and the potential it offers. Families must work to ensure that their children attend school regularly and on time, ready to learn. And the school must work to ensure that our teaching is the best we can offer, that our programs engage our learners and provide the necessary opportunities for success. As the Kapitoki I mentioned earlier suggests, to realise the dreams we hold for our young people, we must work together in unity. To the adults in this hall tonight, I urge you to recognise the importance of the task ahead. We must work together to give our young people the support they need to thrive in the future. Tonight, we gather here to recognise success. It is Year 13 I particularly want to acknowledge. You have had the hardest road to walk as you have spent three years of your education, three years of NCEA suffering the disruptive effects of the pandemic. Tonight, we are here to salute you. We recognise your struggles, your efforts and your achievements. Well done to you all. Years 11 and 12, we recognise your struggles and efforts as well and strenuously hope that next year is more settled for you. I would like now to offer thanks on behalf of the school. Thank you to all the parents and caregivers here tonight who have nurtured the success of their children. Their success tonight is your success as well, and we thank you for the support that you have provided. I also wish to recognise particular long-serving staff members who leave us this year. In absentia, I would like to thank Manjula Hanjani, who leaves us after 26 years of service. Manjula was a Dean, an HOD of Science, and a Kahuyako Cross School leader, and served in the Strategic Leadership Team before taking refreshment leave this year and travelling to Australia. Manjula has decided to remain in Australia and will take up a teaching position in Melbourne. 
Raj Sharma, Assistant Dean of Maths, is retiring after 20 years of service at Alton College. Together with all your students, past and present, we thank you for your effort and commitment to this goal. Cindy Stenke, English teacher, leaves us after 14 years to take up a position with Auckland Seventh Day Adventist High School. We wish you well for this new challenge, Cindy. Anila Sadaka, careers advisor, leaves us after 13 years to take up a new position at Otago College. On behalf of all the students who have guided over the years, I thank you. The teachers you have supported will miss your chief of demeanor. Simon Rangiwahia leaves us after five years to return to his family in Taranaki. We thank you for your commitment and the varied roles you have played. Dean, acting sports director, teacher of business and social science, and manager of the first 15. To all teachers who leave our early college this year, I thank you for your service and commitment, and I wish you all the best for the future. 2022 has been a year of departure. The board elections were held in September, and a number of long-serving members left the board. On behalf of Our Lady College and the school community, I thank the following members for their many years of service and stewardship. Sanjay Khan, Jeanette Browning, Margaret Short, and Maureen Sheldon. You have created a legacy of financial stability in which the school has prospered. I welcome our new board members who are demonstrating enthusiasm for the task of governance under the leadership of Anna Holloway. Anna, along with Deepa Kumar and Steve Lewis, have been joined by Taibi Adito, Helen Farmore, and Georgina Kalingantoku. I thank you in anticipation of your service and commitment. I would also like to thank the wider staff for your commitment to the students of Aldi College. The past three years have been a hard grind for many of you, and coping with your own sickness and that of your families and the two outbreaks of COVID has been a relentless challenge. Teachers and support staff alike, you have worked hard to minimise the impact on students, and I want to acknowledge the important part you have played in keeping the school open for all students at all times. Enjoy your well-deserved summer break. And finally, I thank the strategic leadership team for their continued support of me and the school. It is their dedication and commitment that have enabled the school to function effectively over the last year and deliver great opportunities and successful outcomes for our students. I thank you for all you have achieved this year. Congratulations must go to all the students who are being recognised tonight. This celebration of your success is well deserved. No reira, tēnā koto, tēnā koto, tēnā koto, koto. Thank you, Mr. Jeff. Winston Churchill once said, success is not final, failure is not failure. There is the courage to continue that counts. This year and the past few years have been tough for all of us. And the next group of students have shown resilience and perseverance to achieve despite the challenges of COVID. I would now like to invite Ms. Carol Jarrett, the Deputy Principal in charge of Year 11, to present the Level 1 Academic Awards. I would also now like to invite Mr. Kevin Anderson to read out the recipients of each award. NCA Level 1 uh, Top Academic Subject Awards for 2022. The awards will be called out in groups of four or five. Uh, can you please ask that you hold your applause until all award winners are on stage. Our first group of winners for, for tonight, for Level 1, Namita Kumar, NCA Level 1, Art Design. Lavin <clears throat> Tani Tofa, Level 1, Art. Ipi Rosalina Malay, NTA Level 1 Dance, Aaron Ayuta, Level 1 Drama, and Joe Gibbons, Level 1 Physical Education. Sarah Tanulima, Level 1, Culinary Arts. 
Kuta Gonda, Level 1, Digital Media and Design. <coughs> Devon Sawanga, Level 1, Essential Computer Skills. And Nazanin Wasimi, Level 1, English Language Learning. Round of applause, please. to announce the NCA 
Level 2 Top Academic Subject Awards. Once again, the groups were read out in groups of four or five, and we ask that you please hold your applause until the last recipient is standing on the stage. Here are the recipients for 2022. Angelus Wright, Level 2 Art Photography. Alia Mangalungo, Level 2 Art Design. Shamia Nisha, Level 2 Art. Kajina Lakalaka, Level 2 English Language Learning. Shana Pal, in, uh, Level 2 English.
LESA for Level 2 Fitness and Level 2 Social Studies. They could avoid for Level 2 Te Reo Māori and Level 2 Te Aohaka. And Isaac Williams for Level 2 Music and Level 2 Building.
guidance counsellors, pastoral care, our coaches, tutors, community workers, our volunteers, and also our care and help, and to all your whanau. You've all been incredible. Thank you for the long hours of work you've put into your planning, teaching, coaching, and mentoring our students to stand as strong individuals, equipped to continue their journey of learning beyond Aurelia College. Thank you to you, our community, our whānau, parents, grandparents, extended families who are here tonight, for continuing to provide and support your child, your children, to persevere and endure these tough few years to be here today to celebrate their success and achievement. To finally, to our students, I just want to do something a bit different. Can I just please have all our year 11, 12 and 13 please up to be upstanding? The reason why I'd like to ask you to stand is I'd like to acknowledge you all and say how proud we are all of each of you who stand here for enduring and persevering through these last few years for your hard work and we commend you all for your achievements and celebrating your successes you've been able to celebrate along the way. To our students returning next year, enjoy your summer break, spend time with your families, appreciate them and we look forward to seeing you next year as the new seniors of our school. To our seniors and staff who are leaving, who will leave us this year, continue to be courageous and brave. Make a difference. And never lose sight of your dreams and passion in life. We wish you all the best. Have a blessed and safe Christmas in the new year. I'd like for the rest of us to be upstanding, please, and applaud all our students of 2022.
recipient of the Manu Shield is Catherine Mikaeli. to announce 
the next set of special awards for this evening. I would now like to invite Mrs. Leanne Webb to present these awards. The first award, the PTEC Student of the Year. This award winner demonstrates the values of PTEC by always saying yes to the opportunities, academic successes, as well as displaying excellent communication and self-management skills. The recipients of this award are from NCA Level 1, Danshida Papeau. From Level 2, Tyler Turner. And from Level 3, Shabib Habibi. Distinction in film production goes to the director of Aratahi, John Tai, 
and the producer, Leo Tsukino.
Excellence in Outdoor Leadership Award in 2022 is Nathaniel Willard.
the Queen of Black Oak Ridges too. Hold on, hold on. Chillin' on the south side.
Kareem Biggs Trophy. This trophy was donated by the late Kareem Biggs, a former deputy principal here at our and her passion for music was well known and respected by students and staff in the library. This award recognises Ioanni Pasikala for his outstanding musical performance. to a student 
who best demonstrates the usage of Te Reo Māori. Te Tohu o Whānau Tauwhoko. This award is presented to a senior Māori student who has made a significant contribution to the cultural leadership in Te Ao Māori. The recipient of both Te Tāunga Te Reo and Te Tohu o Whānau Tauwhoko for 2022 is Rei Kura Boyd.
School Scholarships for 2022. On behalf of Our Lady College, I'd like to express our sincere gratitude to our external providers, former students and private sponsors for the continuous and consistent support of providing scholarships and mentoring to the students for Our Lady College to enable them to succeed either in school or beyond. Thank you for giving our students the additional support towards being the best they can be. The Quota Scholarship. Quota is a charitable organisation which has generously provided the scholarship. It is a monetary contribution towards a new laptop. I'd like to invite Pam Thomas to present the scholarship. The recipient of this award is a level two student who faces considerable challenges he is hearing impaired and wears cochlear implants. Despite this, he has already gained NCA Level 2 this year with an excellence endorsement. The recipient of this award is Dillian, Dylan Gallagher.
Importantly, family motivation and support is evident through the regular attendance at Health Science Academy funding events. The recipients are NCA Level 1, Sierra Tangalima, NCA Level 2, Chitoya Tapatu, NCA Level 3, David Singh.
collection was established in the school's Jubilee year by alumni to give back to the students in the school. The work has been spearheaded by Gary Troop, Neil Plummer, and Lynn Shawiri, none of whom unfortunately are able to be here tonight. Nevertheless, we want to acknowledge the ongoing support and hard work which enables a number of our students to cross this stage every year for awards that will make a significant contribution to the future. I would like to invite Mr. Steve Boyd, Deputy Principal, to present the next three scholarships. Aurelia College Foundation Scholarship. In 2022, the Aurelia Foundation has offered two scholarships to one female and one male student who have achieved well in their academic studies by trying hard with good work ethics in a positive attitude. This scholarship recognises students who are kind, considerate to others, and wish to pursue tertiary study for further learning. Each scholarship is worth $1,000, which is used as payment towards a laptop, student fees, or any other course related materials. The Year 13 recipients are Muhammad Sahib Khan and Shania Vashnakuma. Thank you, Mr. Burridge. Now we have a special performance of Make You Feel My Love, 
by Bob Dayan, performed by Lata Mateo, accompanied by Ruben Rami.
Met zo iets aan van me neer. Top Achiever Scholarship. The 
The scholarship was established in 2016 and is funded by the University of Auckland, White Pampatu, Matarau. The main purpose of the scholarship is to recognize and reward exceptional academic performance combined with outstanding sporting, artistic, cultural, and or leadership achievements. The provision of university accommodation is designed to provide the best student experience and promote excellent academic outcomes. The scholarship has the value of one year of catered accommodation in a University of Auckland, White Papatu Mata Road, Hall of Residence, plus $4,000. The recipient of this scholarship is Helen Tai. <laughs>
and he has also represented the school at Manukore Hall held midway through the year. The recipient of this award is Gabriel Pereja. <laughs> and focus. 
Over the years, he has given a good account of his all round ability. He is involved in the science fair competitions. The one in which he was heavily invested was a project to mitigate the spread of myrtle rust. He has also been engaging with local youth leaders and working in the Taiwan group. He has been instrumental in sharing his knowledge on environmental issues with Langatahi in the community. He has been a key member of the first Eleven hockey team since 2019. The recipient of this award is John Tai. <laughs>
to congratulate all the prize winners receiving awards tonight. On behalf of the 2020 Manu Taiko, we just wanted to stop by and say a final message for the very last time. We'd like to say a huge thank you for everyone, to everyone for giving us the opportunity to serve and lead throughout this year. We've gone through so much together, and for that, we congratulate you on making it this far. Our journey as Manu Taiko has been a roller coaster to say the least, but we have truly enjoyed the challenges and experiences this role has given to us. Uh, to the teachers, support staff, board of trustees, SLT, thank you for your generous support and words of encouragement. We'd like to congratulate you for surviving the five year long journey with us. We could always count on you for your guidance and understanding and we couldn't have made it this far without you guys. To the students of Amade College, continue to seize every opportunity that comes along your way. Dream big and live life to the fullest. Face any challenge head on and don't forget your roots. And always remember to embrace the AOA every time as you walk through those top gates. Thank you AO for an amazing year. We wish you all the best with your future successes. Stay safe during these holidays, have a jolly good Christmas and a happy new year. And that is from us, Manu Taiko.
the Year 12 Ducks. The recipient of the Year 12 Ducks Award has gained an overall excellent endorsement in NCA Level 1 last year. They have shown an outstanding level of achievement this year by receiving the top subject award in five out of their six subjects. This year, the student has completed all the internal assessment requirements of NCA Level 2 and to date has gained 70 credits, with all 70 being at an excellence level. Thereby gaining NCA Level 2 with an overall excellent endorsement already. The Year 12 Ducks for 2022 is Siv Hall Air. And just for your information, 
Um, Siv, who just walked through for the year 12, got ducks as first cousins of Helen, who just walked through the year 12. So talk about selfishness, you know, keeping it in the family. <laughs> well done, Matai, if they're in Parliament tonight. So keep, congratulations, Helen, and all our Premier, Premier Award winners on your amazing achievement throughout this year. And I wish you all the very best for all of your futures. Thank you, Mrs. Webb. Uh, what's going to happen now is that I'm going to ask that um, our official party on the stage moves down and tries to find a seat somewhere. Uh, and we're going to watch the Leavers video and then a performance by our uh, Manu Holdini, our prefect group, to finish the evening. Then Moriti will come back onto the stage to do the Karakia Tokamutunga to, to finish off the evening. And um, that will be it. So, official party, if you'd like to move down. told me that someday these will be the good old days all the love you won't forget and all these reckless nights you won't regret someday soon your whole life's gonna change you'll miss the magic of these good old days i was thinking about the band i was thinking about the fans we were underground Load of merch in that 12-passenger van In a small club in Minnesota And the snow outside of first half I just wanted my name in the star Now look at where we at, still growing up 
there's no growing up. I would lay in my bed and dream about what I'd become. Couldn't wait to get older. Couldn't wait to be some. Now that I'm here, wishing I was still young. Those middle days. I wish somebody would have told me, babe, that someday these would be the good old days. All the love you won't forget. And all these reckless nights you won't Wish I didn't think I had the answers. Wish I didn't drink all of that glass first. Wish I made it to homecoming. Got up the courage to ask her. Wish I would have gotten out of my show. Wish I put the bottle back on that shelf. Wish I wouldn't have worried about what other people thought and felt comfortable with myself. Rooftop open and the stars above. The moment frozen, sneaking out and falling in love. Me, you, and that full time. We just begun on the grass dreaming. I'm taking you back to memory lane where we all.
I want you to say 